In the pervading darkness, there gleams the light of truth. Chaos precedes creation. The Rajarani Temple in Bhubaneswar is a synosure of tourists. Made of Rajarani stone, it is a living lyric, elegant, graceful, and exotic. The base of the main temple is made of five mouldings. Above it, the niches are filled with divinities, of which Parvati and Nataraj are worth mentioning. The main temple in the lower portion of the wall contains Digpalas and Kriya Vedalas in the recesses. On the lower and upper portions of the wall, graceful, slender female figures greet the visitors. The wall is lavishly ornamented and set in plural motives. Built in Pancharatha style, Rajarani temple strikes a note of difference in its architectural planning. A cluster of miniature temples 
around the spire lends a circular appearance to the main temple. Set in the midst of a compound wall, Brahmeshwar Temple in Bhuvaneshwar presents a full-fledged Jagamohana in the style of a Pirha Deula. The wall of the Jagamohana presents a pageant of sculptural art of which the dancing figures are of abiding interest. In the niches of the lower portion of the temple wall, they are finely carved Dikapalash. In the upper portion, graceful naikas are placed each in different poses. In the lower portion of the trunk, a cluster of miniature temples are displayed. In the garrisoned temple premises, we have small temples in four corners, thus making the whole complex a Panchayatana Khetra. The miniature temples appearing on the surface of the trunk contain human figures with fine decorations. The temple top displays a composite assemblage of Amala, Kapuri, Kalasha, Ayudha and the Beki, rested by Deolo Charanis. The Brahmeshwar temple is a specimen of maturity of the Kalinga temple architecture. The Lingoraj temple of Bhuvaneshwar represents the Kalinga style of architecture in its final form. The Jogamohana, close to the main temple, is a pyramidal structure with two tier pirhas. In the lower walls of the temple, we have Dekpala in the niches and grotesque shaped Vidala in the upper portion of the walls in the recesses display large size female figures of enchanting beauty and grace. The lofty temple 
in Pancharatha plan and its majestic trunk studded with miniature Rekha temples are of great architectural significance. The Mastaka has traditional component members, Amalaka Shila, supported by Dopichalayan and seated divinities. temple complex consists of main temple, Jagamohana, Natamandara and Bhagamandapa. The temple is surrounded by a compound wall which houses minor shrines. As an emblem of Kalinga's architectural marvel, Lingaraj Temple occupies a definite place in the architectural map of Eastern India. Villages in Urasa too abound in various temples. Credit goes to the Gongo monarchs who took up temple building activity as one of the avowed principles of administration for ensuring integrity and social cohesion. They patronized dominant faiths, Shoibism and Vaishnavism. Architects and sculptors of the Gongo period took up cues of architectural engineering from their predecessors who strove for perfection during the Shomobanshi rule. A continued search for perfection in their enterprise helped them acquire innovative skills and open newer dimensions. The Bahana Stambha for the divinities was newly introduced.
Nata Mandala or the dancing hall of comparatively lesser height was added to the Jagamohana. For Parsha Devatas, proportionate porches were constructed for protection against sun and shah. Scriptural sanction in iconography was encouraged. Freedom to artists for elegance, eloquence and richness of sculpted art was given during the Gonga regime. Economy in aesthetics was realized a deterrent factor, as the result of which plastic imagination reigned supreme. The two important temples of the Gongo period are the Sun Temple at Konar and the Lord Jagannath Temple at Puri. The Sun Temple, the Black Pagoda of the East at Konar Konsi is a massive chariot and stone with 24 wheels drawn by seven gigantic horses.
it is a moving chariot as it were and the chariot is set to music right from the sunrise to the sundown rich pageant of a recent social life for culture trade and commerce stately activities animal wealth picturesque flora have been chiseled on the stones Twelve hundred artisans, as the legend goes, have put in all their effort to materialize a dream. A touch of intimacy permeating through all living species is explicitly worked out in this monument. The Natamandala, or Hall of Dance, plays on for eternity. The embellishment of Odyssey dance and music.
stone of Connaught bears an imperishable imprint of Orison heritage, the art, music, and dance. Beauty is truth, and truth is beauty, is probably the message of Connaught. भव मद्भक्तो मद्जाजी मां नमस्कुरु मामे बैस्यसि सत्यम्ते प्रतिजाने प्रियोसि में 